Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be making a card using this gorgeous stamp and die set by Heartfelt Creations. Some dies by Sue Wilson and some beautiful card by Kanban. So starting off here by stamping our uh, Heartfelt Creations hanging basket die. I'm using my Versamark because I'm going to be doing some... Uh, distress ink colouring. Now I may or may not use water so just to be safe I'm using the Versamark and of course my Tim Holtz stamp platform. I'm also stamping onto Nina Solar White cardstock and hasn't that turned out absolutely gorgeous. Looks so crisp. So now we're taking a cream card base is six inches by six inches and I'm just folding that and it just works really well with the colours that I've got going. And then I've got a piece of the Kanban cardstock. It's actually double sided, so I'm just going to cut that to size. And one of the easiest ways to do that is rather than go by measurement, is just to mark a little pencil mark on the back of the card to the side that you're actually going to uh, be showing. And then you can use that as a guide for your trimmer and cut that to get a really accurate fit. And then next I'm going to take some tempered adhesive and just put a little bit in each of the corners on the back of this card. I'm going to stick that down onto the front of our card base so that we just attach this temporarily to the front because I'm going to die cut an aperture using this Sue Wilson die set. This is her double pierced circles. But later on I do want to separate the piece of paper from the background card but you need to cut them at the same time in order to ensure that the aperture is in the right place on both sections and they won't match up when you put them together. So the easiest way to do that is to do it together and cut it together rather than hope when you cut each sheet individually that it would work out. So then just very carefully release that um, piece of paper from the background uh, card and then I'm going to take the one size larger of the double pierced circles to cut a circle of acetate. Now I'm just cutting some of the acetate off because otherwise it won't go through my die cutting machine. Um, acetate can be a little strange to cut actually you would think that it would cut through quite nicely but because of the kind of plastic nature of it so you need to run it through a couple of times and then when you pull it out it might feel like it's stuck but just give it a gentle tug and you'll probably find it comes out just fine and don't forget the edges are going to be hidden anyway in this case so then taking my cosmic shimmer glue i'm just running around the edge of the aperture and the card, I find it easier to do that on the cardstock, and then just taking the piece of acetate and popping that down on top of the glue, and that will stick that down very nicely. Just be careful not to wriggle it around, and there it is done. So that's our aperture done. So the next thing I want to do is colour our drawing in. So I've got my distress markers here, and I am just using a few different colours that I chose that matched in with the colour of the pattern paper really nicely just to say this is sped up a little so don't think I'm a really fast colourer um, and I'm deliberately going kind of rough and ready on the look of the colouring here I don't particularly want to fill every little spot perfectly I don't want to be worried about whether the um, I go inside the lines or not I really wanted to go for that more sort of shabby look really and now I'm just taking the darker colour and I'm just going into the centre of the leaves just to give it a little bit of depth and highlight, highlight sort of shadow really I guess but it gives highlight through the piece we'd already done and then we're going on to the flowers so we've picked this beautiful orange colour that well they call it marigold and I think that's a really perfect colour and you can see there I'm going outside of the lines on that one to a certain extent it's not going to matter because it's going to be die cut and then um, also as I say I'm deliberately going for that look and then I'm building up the layers using um, the markers just to get that real good depth 
and now the flowers have had a chance to settle I am going back into the center of them I do find that if you leave them to dry just for a few minutes like I did there it gives a nice bit of depth if you want them to really blend out then maybe go for it sooner and then I'm taking the paler color and just making like a middle color so it's giving like a third color so just blending that center into the outside paler edge and now we're taking the die that was part of the set now although this is a magnetic platform that I'm using here with my Sizzix I think for something like this where it's really important to be sure it doesn't move it is worth just putting a bit of tape on to be absolutely 100% sure that you get it die cutting exactly where you want it to because it really shows if you don't get it right um, you could of course always just colour around the edges a bit if it was sort of slightly missed and the other thing you could do is um, cut it before you colour. I personally prefer to colour first, but if you're a little bit nervous that if you colour it and then you die cut it wrong, um, then do it that way around if you prefer. As you can see, it's popping out really nicely. There's not too many sort of inner pieces, so it's just come out really well. And I think that looks really nice now it's die cut. And here is our patterned piece. This was just a bit of spare from that. Now I want to use the peach side, which is the reverse of that, to make a back panel on my coloured piece. Because it's going to go on the acetate, I don't want to see the back of it because you'll see like all the glue and stuff. Now you want to put one piece on the front of the acetate and the other piece on the back of the acetate or else you defeat the object because I very nearly glued it together and then popped it down which kind of as you can imagine that doesn't really hide the glue because you're still putting the glue on the part that can be seen so make sure you don't make that mistake so then I'm just using my cosmic shimmer again now for this because it's onto acetate I would suggest that you just dab it with your finger first just to spread out some of the excess glue before you put it down on the acetate because you want to make sure it doesn't sort of squelch outside of the actual image Then just give it a very careful push down and then onto the back so you can see here where you can kind of see the glue um, you could have used the pattern side if you preferred just I mean to be honest if it's two-sided if you get it wrong when you cut it you you've got the choices but I just thought the peach side would just look pretty um, because I know what I was thinking on the inside of the other side of it as well so that looks nice and it just hides the mess so I think that always looks good so then I'm now I've stuck all that down and I've put the top of the basket just inside where my pattern paper will be so looks like it's going to be coming from under the paper which I think will give it an effect that it really is hanging so then we're just going to carefully line that up and stick that down and with acetate putting paper back onto it you just need to hold it for a few minutes now this is the circle if you recall when we die cut the center of the aperture out we had obviously the two pieces stuck together on the outside but they weren't stuck on the middle so it just separated nicely from the cream card so I thought I would use that to create a nice piece through like that and by doing it that way you make sure it's lined up accurately through your hole as you look at it so that makes it a lot simpler as well than trying to sort of match it up so then I've stamped a greeting using this Simon Says stamp hand written greetings. Really like these. And again, you see here I've just used that cream piece that was from the card. Um, that was scrapped, so I just used it for that. And I've got these lovely Spellbinder labels. And this again on my magnetic platform. So for this, it's, I'm not going to need to put any tape. So just run that through. And pop that out and I think that looks really really nice and I love the little slots there and it just seemed to be crying out for ribbon these sort of sections of this card I was kind of making it up as I went along I hadn't really planned this part so I just sort of thought oh a nice sentiment would look nice under that um, hanging basket it sort of had a gap so that's when I thought well a labelled sentiment would be nice the flowers kind of struck me as get well would be a nice sentiment and then when I saw the label that I picked and I cut it out I thought oh a ribbon running through that would look really cool so that's kind of how it was quite um, organic I think is the word um, the first part was sort of with the actual die cut of the 
hanging basket etc that I sort of knew that was in my head but the rest of it I was kind of winging it really but I think it turned out all right and I thought this ribbon was a perfect match it's this beautiful grow grain and then I'm just going to pop that down on there and I think that looks really pretty so we're just going to use I'm not putting any dimension on this I think bizarrely because of the acetate even though it's a flat card I think it looks really dimensional because it's got the depth because we can see through to the back layer and obviously when it sits on the shelf you're going to really see that because it's going to be apart you're not going to have it flat where the two layers are right next to each other like now so I think that looks really cool and then these beautiful little pearls in the corners there and then finally as I cut another one of those tags just to pop on the back there just to hide the workings and you can see the ribbon and everything through and that is our card finished and I think that just looks so pretty I hope you do too I know you guys often seem to really like the acetate cards so I hope that you like this one now at the end of this video there will be a couple of photos of the card but if you want to see it more and there's definitely more of them then do go across to the blog post if you're on YouTube you'll find the link below this video just click show more it opens up and there it will be and then you can take a peek at all of those photos but otherwise for now thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye bye Sky promise no lie And they don't have to know